Guys, I think I'm in trouble here. Have you ever heard Picard say, guys, come on, we're gonna go beam down to the planet. It's so informal to speak that way. At this point, I am so disconnected from actual Star Trek that I didn't even notice. Like, I didn't even associate, I didn't even think of this as being the same character. I really, I really don't. <sighs> Picard, like, intellectual, rational man, and you have that scene where he gives, you know, Rene Picard the pep talk, and I'm like, oh, you know, finally you get a Picard speech. Finally they will utilize Picard's character right, and what he says to her is just like, emotional gobbledygook. I found that even in the darkest circumstances, there is a light, sometimes only a glimmer. Trust that light. Yeah. Find a way back, no matter what it takes. Stars and points of light or something. What was it? Picard would give her some speech about how what she's doing is going to be for the betterment of all of mankind. These are great important things that you will be a part of. He's, not... he's now become wist... Space is important and he's, beautiful. He's become wistful, dreamy Picard. You remind me a bit of my mother. She too loved the stars. Star Trek, emotional Star Trek is just garbage. It's fu it, 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 it's blasphemy. Yeah, it's sort of the opposite of what it's supposed to be. This is secular blasphemy. <laughs> uh, I just picture those the, that ad that I showed last time, where it's just like all the critic quotes. <laughs> Intense, amazing. <laughs> You'll cry butterfly tears. Secular blasphemy. <laughs> no one would get what you're, what you're saying. No one would understand those two words being put together. It's because morons are watching. This is, this is a show that is designed to make morons feel smart. I'm watching the smart thing and it's, none of it is smart. It's all stupid. <laughs>